Introducing the Volonaut Airbike, a cutting-edge flying vehicle developed by Polish engineer and entrepreneur Thomas Patton. Known as the co-founder of Jetson, the company behind the Jetson 1 EVTOL aircraft, Patton recently revealed a prototype of this single-seat flying motorcycle in a video that sparked comparisons to Star Wars speeder bikes. The unveiling marks a significant leap in personal aerial mobility. Powered by a jet propulsion system, the Volonaut can reach speeds of up to 200 km per hour. Its compact, rotor-free design allows for safe maneuvering in tight spaces, while the unique pilot seating position offers a full 360-degree field of view. A patented stabilizer system, guided by an onboard computer, enables automatic hovering and intuitive control. Constructed from ultra-lightweight carbon fiber using advanced 3D printing techniques, the airbike is seven times lighter than a traditional motorcycle. After years in development, it was officially presented to the public in April 2025. While pricing and release details remain undisclosed, the Volonaut has already generated strong interest among tech enthusiasts and mobility experts. French engineers at Laser have unveiled a prototype of the Moto Volante, a next-generation flying motorcycle that blurs the lines between land and air transportation. The Laser 496 is a striking hybrid. At first glance, it resembles a futuristic four-wheeled motorcycle, but with the flick of a switch, it transforms into a hovering aircraft straight out of a sci-fi movie. Weighing just 130 kilograms, the Moto Volante is powered by four compact jet turbines that allow it to lift off the ground and hover at a flight height of up to 90 centimeters. Transitioning from road to air is seamless. The rider simply activates the turbines to shift from driving to flying mode. In its current form, the vehicle reaches speeds of up to 130 km per hour on the ground, with future versions expected to achieve higher altitudes. The Hoverbike S3 represents the culmination of years of technological innovation, delivering a high-performance fusion of a flying motorcycle and drone. Developed by a Russian company owned by Alex Edelman, this cutting-edge vehicle is designed for a single rider and boasts both the look and functionality of a futuristic motorcycle capable of flight. At the heart of the S3 is a lightweight carbon fiber monocoque frame, constructed as a single piece to maximize structural integrity while minimizing weight, bringing the total mass down to just 114 kilograms. The platform integrates four propellers mounted on extended beams, along with the onboard flight computer and battery pack. The pilot sits in an adjustable seat equipped with joystick controls and a dashboard, supported by a military-grade flight system capable of handling takeoffs and landings in spaces as compact as a standard parking spot. Its front and rear propellers overlap for a more compact design. Powered by a 12.3 kWh battery, the Hoverbike S3 offers up to 40 minutes of drone mode flight with a rider on board. Depending on rider weight and weather conditions, Actual flight times vary between 10 and 25 minutes. Recharging the battery takes approximately 2.5 hours using a portable charging unit. Each of the four electric motors delivers 33 kilowatts, driving three-bladed carbon propellers to generate a combined thrust of 364 kilograms. This propulsion system enables the hoverbike to reach speeds of up to 96 km per hour and ascend to a default ceiling of 5 meters, an altitude that riders can manually adjust. Stability in the air is maintained by both the aerodynamic design and a sophisticated onboard control system, which includes an all-weather LiDAR navigation aid. The hoverbike S3 is also equipped with advanced safety features. In case of a propeller failure, the remaining motors automatically compensate to maintain level flight and enable a safe landing. Additionally, if battery levels drop too low, the system initiates an automatic descent to avoid mid-air shutdown. Priced at $150,000, the Hoverbike S3 requires specialized training to operate.
It first made headlines in 2017 when the Dubai Police Force became its inaugural user, launching officer training programs and signaling future plans to introduce the vehicle to the broader market. The P-2 Speeder, developed by Maiman Aerospace in California, is a next-generation flying motorcycle engineered for high-speed hovering and vertical takeoff. Originally designed for military, rescue, and law enforcement operations, its versatility also makes it ideal for applications such as cargo transport and disaster response. Roughly the size of a standard motorcycle, the P-2 Speeder is powered by eight compact jet engines that run on standard aviation fuel, including sustainable and zero-net carbon options. Its sleek, angular carbon fiber body combines visual impact with aerodynamic efficiency, while the ergonomic pilot seating ensures optimal flight dynamics. The aircraft is capable of both manned and autonomous operations. In under 10 minutes, it can be reconfigured from a piloted vehicle to a cargo drone by swapping out the pilot seat for a cargo pod. This flexibility enables rapid adaptation to mission needs, whether transporting personnel or delivering critical supplies. Advanced onboard systems allow for manual piloting, complete with controls for power, pitch, roll, and yaw, or fully autonomous navigation via pre-programmed flight paths. Built-in self-stabilization technology ensures safe and stable operation in all modes. While it cruises at 60 miles per hour in standard use, the P-2 speeder can reach astonishing speeds of up to 500 miles per hour and cover distances of up to 400 miles. It also supports payloads of over 1,000 pounds, making it a game-changer in emergency response, medevac missions, and time-sensitive cargo delivery. Combining speed, agility, and adaptability in a compact platform, the P-2 speeder represents a bold step forward in the future of aerial mobility. Since 2017, Japanese company Ali Tech has been steadily developing this remarkable flying motorcycle Extra Rezero, and it is now nearing limited production. Only 200 units of this innovative single-seater will be made available, each priced at $680,000. The Extra Rezero is distinguished by its unique design, combining a conventional internal combustion engine with electric motors in a hybrid powertrain. Its lightweight yet durable frame is constructed from carbon fiber, with large protective cage propellers mounted at both the front and rear. On the ground, the vehicle rests on two landing skids, allowing riders to easily step over and mount it like a traditional motorcycle. Measuring roughly 12 feet in length, 8 feet in width, and 5 feet in height, the hover bike maintains a motorcycle-like silhouette despite its larger size and added flight components. It weighs approximately 661 pounds and offers a payload capacity of up to 220 pounds, ideal for a single rider and their gear. The hybrid propulsion system powers four electric motors and enables flight for up to 40 minutes, with a top speed of 62 miles per hour. The Extra Rezero has demonstrated promising performance in testing and showcases the growing potential of personal aerial mobility. The Lazareth LMV-496 is a bold leap into the future of mobility, designed by visionary French engineer Ludovic Lazareth, renowned for pushing the limits of automotive innovation. After gaining acclaim with the 2016 LM847, a four-wheeled, tilting superbike powered by a Maserati engine, Lazareth refined his concept into the LM410, solidifying his reputation for radical engineering. Now, he introduces his most ambitious creation yet, the LMV-496, the world's first true hoverbike motorcycle hybrid. This revolutionary machine blends road and air capabilities, seamlessly transitioning from an electric motorcycle to a flying vehicle with the push of a button. On the ground, the LMV-496 is powered by an electric motor with a range of up to 100 kilometers, 60 miles. In flight mode, 
its four wheels rotate horizontally to become jet-powered rotors, enabling vertical takeoff in just 60 seconds. Once airborne, for kerosene-fueled turbines, each producing 1,300 horsepower, allow the bike to hover for up to 10 minutes. Pilots are equipped with a digital dashboard that displays speed, altitude, and location in real time, while dual joysticks built into the handlebars provide intuitive control for aerial maneuvers. For added safety, emergency parachutes are integrated into the wheels, ready to deploy instantly if needed. Despite its cutting-edge nature, the LMV-496 is engineered for stability, control, and safety, both in the air and on the ground. Weighing just 140 kilograms, the hoverbike features a lightweight carbon fiber frame, responsive steering, and a TF suspension system for a smooth ride. The ergonomically designed seat offers both comfort and style, reflecting the machine's premium build. With only five units planned for production and priced at around 500,000 euros, the Lazareth LMV 496 is not just a vehicle, it's a statement. For those few who can afford it, it represents the cutting edge of design, performance, and personal flight. The Aero X is a cutting edge hoverbike developed by Aero Effects, a Los Angeles based aerospace engineering company. Designed to carry up to two passengers, this futuristic vehicle can rise to a height of 10 feet above the ground and reach a top speed of 45 miles per hour. Weighing approximately 785 pounds and measuring 15 feet in length, it combines impressive performance with a compact form. With a full tank of fuel, the Aero X can remain airborne for up to 75 minutes. Its rotor blades are notably shorter than those of helicopters, making the craft more compact and safer, particularly in close quarters. Unlike traditional helicopters, the Aero X avoids creating disruptive brownout conditions, operating smoothly in proximity to people without causing significant dust disturbances. Stability and control were major focuses in the design, with a unique dual control bar system positioned at knee level, allowing riders to easily shift their weight and adjust the craft's balance. This innovation minimizes the risk of rollovers and crashes, ensuring a safer flying experience. In development since 2008, the Aero X is projected to retail for $85,000, though an official release date is still pending. Introducing the Scorpion 3, a hoverbike that rides with the ease of a standard dirt bike, but with a twist, the chassis is mounted on a drone. In this video, a biker cam pilot takes the Scorpion for a test flight inside a warehouse in Moscow. Capable of reaching 30 miles per hour and soaring up to 33 feet in the air, the Scorpion 3 can stay airborne for up to 30 minutes on a single charge. It may look like something straight out of a James Bond movie, but it could be yours for around 120,000 pounds. What's even more exciting is that plans are in place to make this innovative hover bike available for everyday use, perfect if you're looking for a thrilling new way to commute. Plumber-turned-inventor Colin Furs is known for his incredible DIY creations, and his latest project, a hoverbike, is no exception. While it doesn't soar very high, it's a remarkable achievement considering it was built in just a few weeks in his garage. The hoverbike sports an aluminum frame and is powered by two lightweight Polini Thor 190 Evo engines. Flyke is a manned personal tricopter, designed for individual use and conceptually similar to a hoverbike. Developed by the Hungarian Research Institute Bay Zoltan Nonprofit Limited, it is powered by electric motors and aims to provide a potential solution for urban mobility and personal transportation. Flyke successfully completed its first manned flight on March 7, 2015.
Larry Page, co-founder of Google, is linked to Kitty Hawk, a company focused on developing electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft. One of its projects, the Flyer, has been dubbed a flying motorcycle or flying car. Designed for recreational use over water, the Flyer emphasizes simplicity, low-speed operation, and ease of control. As an ultralight aircraft, it doesn't require a pilot's license and is built for intuitive, user-friendly flying.